even with everybody talking about the loudness war, everybody still wants their masters super loud. So how do you get them loud and still keep them dynamic? I'm about to tell you. So as a mastering engineer over the years, uh, it has now become a standard procedure that people want their stuff loud. Now, even with things going to minus 14 early UFS on uh, streaming and download services, things still need to be super loud. They still need the RMS up high because the limiters are acting as compressors. So they're making a certain sound on the track. So even though they're crushed up and they are hitting a super loud level, uh, when they're pulled down to minus 14, they still have that compressed sound. So if you're just mastering up to minus 14, you won't get the same sound, same feel as when you're pushing them into limiters and getting that kind of more compressed sound that's uh, minus eight, minus six, minus four, however mental you want to go. So my suggestion is you keep things around minus eight. Now, as a mastering engineer, as I say, this is my main job. Uh, it never used to be. It just used to be about getting something onto a, a CD or onto a vinyl, making sure it's, you know, correct. Still part of my job. You have to, you're kind of last port of call for record labels and things. But you need to get things loud. Everybody wants them to a certain level. Um, before they're pulled down. So how do you do that? Okay, so the main thing that you do is you have to have limiters. I, I suggest using two or three limiters and the main thing for me is gain staging throughout those limiters. So it's not just using one and putting say nine or 10 dB on there and like slamming it into one. If you just use one thing on anything, it's just gonna be, that one thing is just doing this. Where if you've got loads of little ones going like this, it just leaves a lot more space. A bit weird analogy, but the limiter is is being able to just work on a small amount of information rather than a massive amount of information. And then what happens is um, it's able to work in a, in a much nicer way and it leaves some of the dynamics and leaves some of the sound rather than just giving one limiter like a massive crush sound. So the key to it is it's gain staging through two or three limiters rather than using one and smashing into one and bringing up the level with that, use a few. So that's my tip for getting super loud masters, but also uh, keeping it feeling dynamic and moving around a little bit. So if you like these kind of uh, quick tips, then please uh, subscribe, make sure you have subscribed, and let me know in the comments what you think about this and what limiters you're using. Always interesting, because they change all the time, and limiters are the mainstay of mastering, so always good to keep changing them, listening to new ones, and seeing which ones you prefer. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Till tomorrow, next time, bye.